Yeah, what we just uh, read from that introduction of the part of the second part of the workbook of Ecology Miracles, in that perspective that now we cannot fail, was brought in connection with I am so close to you. That was in that sixth paragraph. And so obviously that closeness that we have with uh, that Christ light within our own mind, that brings us also the certainty of the impossibility to fail. And we give these holy times to you in gratitude to him, in gratitude to that manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The one, the Christ, the brother, the light bearer, literally, who walks with us and taught us how to leave the world of sorrow, of misery, of separation, of ideas of loss, sickness and death. And that is the value that we are coming through that closeness, through that experience, to a certainty in our mind. Who is it truly who walks with us? Who is it, brother, who walks with you? And if you are not certain about that, then just, just ask the question. And you will see that the answer will be an experience in your mind so far beyond what you can imagine that you will be completely blown away and astonished about how much grace is actually in you. You are the perfect creation of God. Therefore, you are the carrier of the grace of God. Now, what are you going to do with that? The whole world is, of course, waiting for you <laughs> to be the receiver of that grace. Everybody is waiting for grace to be extended or given in churches, in temples, in holy spots, in holy connections with holy men. But who is really certain about that that grace is ours, is mine to give? Because I am receiving it and have received it and will continue to receive it. So you too, brother. And that's why he said in that first uh, paragraph we shared, in that fifth paragraph, that now the time of prophecy is fulfilled. Where could it be fulfilled? Except in you, in my own self, in my own mind. That's where the prophecy is fulfilled. And it isn't fulfilled that I ponder some other concept. It is fulfilled by experiencing the oneness of ourself. It is fulfilled by accepting that responsibility and accepting that gift that is given me. Yes, if there is a holy son of God and Jesus Christ has um, in his lifetime 2000 years ago declared that he is the son of God, so must you be the holy son of God. And of course you are the holy son of God because there are no orders of difficulties in creation. It is not possible that one son of God is created more perfect than somebody else. And you are maybe at the end of the line. You know, that is really the, um, <laughs> that perspective of failure. The idea of I failed and failing is something normal. No, we are actually training our mind now and rec recognizing that failure is impossible. And ancient, an ancient promise is upheld and fully kept. That ancient promise is exactly that experience and recognition of wholeness within our own mind, within you. And so no step remains for time to separate from its accomplishment because it is also an experience out of time in timelessness and the recognition that time is not really passing sequentially. This is a dream, brother, and you know it as well as I do. This is a dream, and the truth is, this dream is already over. And because there no step remains for time to separate from its accomplishment, because now we cannot fail, okay? And the next sentence was, sit silently and wait upon your creator, upon your father in heaven, upon that light that we are sharing right now, in which we are 
happy, okay? That's the word. Whole, complete, in peace, in love, in light. And that is what happiness truly is. So, thank you first for that. And <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe maybe no no words are needed anymore i'm just gonna have a little sound more and see you're so welcome 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 welcome